and welcome back to another episode of Sims 3 Generations where we're back with Griffin and <laughs> and Faith and all of the babies in a new room because these guys decided they're gonna have to prioritize the babies over over their own comfort so they've shifted the bed around got in a new got a new blanket and everything though so you know it looks fancy but <laughs> they can't access most of their furniture now and and everything's been shifted around but you know what at least at least the girls have somewhere they can they can sleep properly instead of them just sitting sitting in a bed. Just I had I, they couldn't even lie in that bed. They had to just just sit there as if they were on the floor. <laughs> it, it didn't work. But now now they have some cribs of them cribs of their own to to sleep in. Although it was cute having them sleep next to each other. They they they're growing babies. They now need separate in case they crash into each other. I guess. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, Hope's woken up. Okay, well, um, one of you better be ready to to look after them because it's gonna be needed needed soon. And did you make? I told you to make the coffee. I don't know if you actually managed to make the coffee though. You didn't. Of course you didn't. Why would you have done what I asked? That just isn't something you do, is it, Faith? <laughs> it's fine. And I swear you weren't carrying him when you came downstairs. Uh, sure. You know what? It's Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is normal. I have no clue what Griffin was so mad about there, but um, apparently he's good now. He's just gonna go and grab his lime pancakes for breakfast. Put put the coffee machine on, even though oh no, it's not stinky. I thought the coffee machine was stinky. No, it's the bowl that's been left out overnight that's stinky. He's gonna go grab his coffee. Ooh, and and we're gonna have a nice relaxing start to our day, even though even though. <laughs> Even though we've got three kids and it's probably going to be stressful later on, it'll be fine. We don't need to worry about it. I changed both of their everyday outfits as well as Faith's sleepwear to, to kind of match this fact that it's summer now because, you know, it's summer <laughs> and and she was wearing so many layers and I feel like I feel like they both needed a bit more of a summery outfit, although I didn't I didn't change Griffin's. I mean, not Griffin, Ryan's. I'm so used to seeing a tiny baby and thinking it's Griffin. I don't know why, because Griffin hasn't been a tiny baby for such a long time. But it's alright. We're gonna just put you in your sweater, even though it's probably quite hot. It's 42 degrees. Oh my gosh, that's very hot. And we're gonna go put him in his sweater. Uh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Maybe I should give him a cooler outfit. I do want to go out with the family at some point in this episode, but I also want to go back to that abandoned science facility. So we've got we've got a lot of things to do. And you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> gonna go and give him something a bit more cooler to wear since it's 20 24 degrees outside. That is real hot. While Griffin was changing little baby Ryan, Faith has gone and packed a little picnic basket for us to take over to the play park and hmm <laughs> I've just realized what are we gonna do about the babies <laughs> we still have tiny children to look after uh, I guess we're gonna have to hire a nanny because there's no way we can carry all three of them at the same time so yeah we're gonna it's not called a na nanny is it in this it's just called a babysitter but it seems for it's nanny <laughs> okay let's let's go hire babysitter yeah there and they can look after both hope and grace while we're at the park with little baby ryan i'm so excited <laughs> we need to teach him to walk and talk because we have not done that yet so let's head on over and it's still <laughs> labeled a cat park i need to stop that i need to change it to actually a cat uh, a normal park <laughs> because because it's a normal park for normalness and Katie's apparently nearby I guess yeah she's right there <gasps> Katie was pregnant last episode wasn't she she she's had kids okay well um <laughs> we gotta go check that out at some point but I really want to take Ryan to the park and have some fun with in in like the sun since it's so hot today so oh my gosh it's gone up a degrees <laughs> so we're gonna take take the little baby, baby Ryan and baby Benny to the park and then then maybe we can check on Kate if she's still home oh my gosh I'm excited to see what she's named the kids oh, I really hope they're Troy's <laughs> but with her with her um, tendencies I, I, it's hard to tell do we really need to take a taxi then like 
We, we only took two steps. We could still see our house. We, I don't think we needed to take a taxi there, guys. Anyway, let's uh, just find somewhere to put baby Ryan. I, I know I said I want to play, but these two love the slip and slides, so I kind of want to have them play with them first. Just dump him here. <laughs> and these two are going to go play on the slip and slides because they absolutely love it. And this is where they had their first proper date, I'm pretty sure. And, and yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna do that. Ryan is so easily entertained by his little imaginary friend, we never need to worry about him. But I am worried about where the lovey-dovey couple have run off to. <gasps> They're taking a picture! Oh, <laughs> Cute! Okay, uh, I was concerned as to where they'd run off to, but I, I guess taking a picture is quite cute. And little Benny here, I don't think he's that old, but he, he acts old. He's just having a sleep on the bench. That is that is adorable. Okay, right. First things first. <laughs> slip and slides. Play with the water toy, I guess. That's what it's called. Go play with these. Because I want I want you to I want you to do it. <laughs> because I want you to, okay? It's for memories. For before before we were dating times. You coming over? Griffin, you gonna come play? Come on, <laughs> she's already had two slides without you. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's terrible. <laughs> Just prefer to watch her, which, yeah, uh, understandable. <laughs> okay, he doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna get wet, which is weird. Oh, you gonna do it now? Hey, there you go. Oh, okay, maybe, that, maybe that's why he didn't wanna go down the slip and slide, because he went and hurt himself. You're going to try again? Try not to hurt yourself this time? Oh, there you go. You did way better. That's it. That's how you do it. Oh, he got a bad mood, mood look from it, though. Didn't get a chance to read it. Are you both on different ones? Okay, a little bit rude. But, <laughs> sure. All right. Okay. Fun's over. We need to we need to teach this child how to talk and walk. And more importantly, everything else. Because we haven't taught him anything. And Griffin really wants to. So I just I need to get on that. And then maybe Faith can spend some time with her doggy, because she really does not interact with him much. I mean, she does. That's a lie. She does interact with him a lot, but I, I feel like we need to do it more. And we've been kind of distracted by another four other Sims. So yeah, we need to, we need to interact with Benny more. Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, what did you want to do? You do want to sniff and chase her, so we'll get you to do that because I want you to have all of the life ha lifetime happiness points so when one day you do sadly leave us you you won't be you won't be an angry ghost you'll be a happy ghost and we want that all right chase her go <laughs> oh my gosh I absolutely love how happy dogs are look at him oh my god <laughs> that was a funny run oh okay sure she looks so strange doing that run, and you're not teaching him how to walk because I didn't cancel him playing with this. You stop playing with your imaginary friend, and to stop learning how to talk, please. Thank you. Oh, we have been teaching him before. Oh yeah, we did it at Katie's party, I remember. Okay, oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him with his little glasses on. <laughs> These guys dress him so cute, which means... I dress him so cute. Look at him. He's so... Uh, <laughs> it's something about these Aries children are just so adorable to me. Like, I was constantly finding baby baby Griffin adorable. Even when he was a teen, he was a cute sim. And now... <laughs> and now he's making cute babies. I love it. It's great. Okay, anyway. <laughs> what, what are you two doing? You done chasing each other? Then chasing each other around, yeah, now you just want to scratch my sofa, which is not happening, buddy. But I do want to take a picture of you. Okay, I got some cute pictures of baby Benny here, so we can hang them up at our new house, which I I forgot to mention, or I guess this is a good time to mention, that I'm in the process of building the Aries family a new home, which you may have already seen so a couple of videos posted about it. I'm slowly working on it, but it's currently at 50k, so we've got a while to go before we have enough money to save to, to, to save it. No, to buy it. But we, we, we're gonna work on it. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry. It'll all work out. 
in the meantime, we're just going to have some nice happy family times. So we're going to go and bring little Ryan over to this high chair. Apparently, <laughs> apparently Griffin needs to use the toilet first though. And then we're, hopefully we're going to serve this. I mean, yes. Okay. I got a mod um, off Mod The Sims. I can't remember who it's by, which is really bad because I should. Um, <laughs> I will put a, a, a link to the mod page in the description that makes it so these only cost 25 simoleons instead of 100 simoleons to serve. So that's just great. The mods by Simazuzu. It bugged me that I couldn't remember the name of them so I just had to go check and yeah I'm gonna leave a link to the mod in the description so so you can go get it too because it's a good it's a good mod and can you not be eating over there with with Benny biting at your feet? Poor faith. Poor, poor Benny that he feels like he needs to destroy a bench like that. Maybe we should be be doing more to scold him for that. Don't don't be eating the bench, Benny. Benny, no eating bench. Okay, <laughs> this is fine. Can we feed little baby Ryan? Because apparently we brought maybe we brought a bottle with us. Yeah, we brought a bottle with us for little baby Ryan. And oh yeah, just gonna casually break my wrist. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And we're gonna grab a plate and hopefully sit at the bench. Like you're meant to when you eat at the picnic table? No. No? Yes? Aha! Griffin. Griffin wants to sit at the bench. Okay, at least you will. And you've already eaten, so that's fine. Now you can come and sit down too. We can all have a nice family time. Yes? Okay, good. That, okay. <laughs> you had to face the complete and opposite of a way. Alright, okay. That's fine. The Griffin doesn't mind staring at your back, I guess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why do you why do you look funny? Do you have a tan? Do you have a, do you have a tan? Yes, you do. I thought you looked strange. Okay, suntan. There's a d delicate balance, but when Faith gets a spray tan or stays in the sun just long enough, but not too long, she is rewarded with the skin of bronze goddess. Yeah, you do. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fun. I like it. I like her. She d she definitely does look bronze. <laughs> That's good. I, I'm glad she's managed to get a tan. Griffin here, still pasty as always. Don't worry about it. He'll he'll get a tan eventually. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. She's gonna go toilet, and then she really needs to probably get go to the hospital and get a, a flu jab. But I just <gasps> okay. But I just I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it now. She's got less than a day. But you know, um, apparently. Benny and Griffin just became BFFs, so that's amazing. And we're gonna pack up our little thingy now because I wanna- Oh, oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. We're gonna pack up our picnic basket and then head over to Kate's because I wanna go see the kids. Okay, we've made it to the Wills household um, and I'm pretty sure everybody's home. <laughs> I did just see Katie walk in, so I know at least she's home. Which means the babies have got to be home too, right? Um, and I'm guessing up here is their room. Yes. Look at this. I can see you. I can see you, Kate. Oh, hey, there's one baby already. Hello. Oh, I can see gone. you. Like, can you let me in, though? Hey, guys. You wanna, you wanna let me in? I did not. I did ring. Please. Hello. I would like to visit. Okay, now she's coming. <laughs> All right, she she just had to put the baby away. You know what? That makes complete and 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 and, and utter sense. Oh my gosh! If I could stop stut stuttering, <laughs> that would be that would be amazing. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're in. Yay! I want to go see the babies. I want to go see the babies. I at least want to know what they're named. No, don't put him. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll put him there. And we're gonna go. No, okay. Now he's gonna pick him up. No, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna be- hi. Hi! Um, have we introduced ourselves? Oh no. <laughs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a great start. I was gonna introduce Faith to, to Katie, but um... <laughs> uh oh. Hi there. Friendly introduction. I uh, would be like, hi, I'm, I'm Griffin's girlfriend. Nice to meet you heard things. Not that many things though. Oh, apparently we don't have a good relationship already. So that's great. Um, 
These two are going to try and be civil. Like, compliment home and have a chat. And Griffin's going to run upstairs and be like, oh my, oh my gosh, she's talking to Troy. These two are the best buds ever. I, I, I love it. I mean, they're only friends, but you, you need to be friends. Just for <laughs> reasons. I don't know. Because I want you to be. And I just feel like... You know, we've got to at least be friends with one of the parents. I mean, it says we're best friends with Katie, but after all the shenanigans that we went through with Kate, I feel like we should have some some lack of feeling towards her, but whatever, it's fine. But I want to be friends with at least one of Ryan's parents, even though it, it's not his parent, you know. <laughs> you don't know. It do I'm not making any sense. Anyway, let's... Go and meet Ryan's, what, half-siblings, right? Yeah, that's what they are. These are, these are Ryan's half-siblings. Si half, half what are they? I don't know. Hello, you are called Desmond Wells, so I'm assuming birth boy. And you are Constance, Constance, Constance? Oh, yeah, that is a name, isn't it? Desmond and Constance. All right, I'm assuming you're both boys birthed boys but you know that could that could change at any time <laughs> and also i could just be wrong hello hi so you've got some two baby brothers i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna assume they're brothers they're, they're, they're boyos and they'll probably stay boyos because that's how sims works um all right okay hello <laughs> meet your meet your floating and <laughs> reality bending brothers um Try not to be too scared by them. I know this is very strange. Okay, uh, fine. That's fine. I wanted to take a picture, but I guess we're not taking a picture unless... Aha! Cool. There we go. You've met your brothers. <laughs> that was weirdness going on here, but okay. Um, here you go. You've got two little brothers. I hope you love them. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure everything's going to be perfectly fine with them. Their, their roomed controlling powers, reality bending powers will not become a problem, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, how are these two getting on? Oh, hey, they're actually laughing and joking. That's good, right? That's a good sign. You two are going to be friends? I would, that'd be nice if you could get along. I know we have some uh, things in common, both you know dating dating griffin and having children with griffin careful you don't say that in front of troy because troy i'm pretty sure still doesn't know <laughs> but um yeah no no this this baby right here also faiths mm -hmm. yeah she just she just had him before we met her and don't think about it too much <laughs> oh i love the way i love the way griffin's sitting with him He's just cross-legged and also got little little baby baby Ryan on him. It's great. I love it. Okay, everything seems to be going fine, right? You're you're not flirting with Ryan. You're not flirting with with Griffin. But these two are getting along. You've even brought a baby down. Isn't that great, Constance? Hello. Okay, but we are getting very tired, and it is like almost seven. So we should probably head home with baby Griff and and pack in for the night because you know it's a bit rude to stay out late and these probably have these two have probably got to get these kiddos on a sleeping schedule so yeah we'll head home and actually talk to our own two babies i guess they've also had twins oh that's fun they've had boy twins we've had girl twins i love it so uh, that's what five siblings <laughs> there's these three and then and then they've both got they've both Wait, are these two even related to the other twins? They're not, right? Like, not by blood, but by by their brother. They're related to the other twins by their brother. So they're like, not even, they're not even half siblings, are they? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what they are. If you know what they are, can you tell me in the comments what, what hope and, what hope and grace are in relation to, into, <laughs> in relation to these two? Because I would love to know. I don't know what the actual name is for them. But anyway, let's pack our other child into bed and head to bed ourselves. And I'll see you guys in the morning where we're going to go and explore more of that science facility. Well, they didn't get to sleep very long until the baby started crying. But, you know, that's just how it is being 
the new parents. I feel like you should be used to this. Actually, no. Griffin, Griffin had a really easy time with Ryan. He was never crying. He was actually quite a good baby. But <laughs> these two, um, not so much. These two are very fussy little things. So we're gonna just deal with these two and then head straight back to bed because it is like midnight and these two need their sleep. It's 6 a.m. in the morning and all three babies are awake, so that means Griffin and Faith need to be awake too. And it, it has been an eventful night. The kids woke up like at least two more times during the night, and um, yeah, they, ha <laughs> they both had to deal with that. And also, during the night, Faith decided to. <laughs> yes, somehow she managed to buy a whole professional bar. Don't, don't question how she managed to get this in the house during sleep and in looking after babies because um, I don't know that does definitely nothing to do with godly powers <laughs> so she's finally getting that wish fulfilled and getting to work on her lifetime wish which is to become a max master mixologist and I was gonna start doing this when she moved into the house like straight away but the reason she moved in was because she was pregnant and obviously we can't be practicing drinks when when we're pregnant because we actually drink the drinks yeah we have to taste if they actually taste any good anyway um all the babies should now be happy uh griffin <laughs> you you okay they're, they're both hungry i didn't tell him to feed them so you know you know that's fine it's okay all right you should also be fine yes hi okay you're good we're just we're gonna prep these guys. I'm gonna leave Faith here today to look after the kids while Griffin gets ready to go out on another adventure to that science facility because I'm really excited to go back there. All right, we're back at the abandoned science facility where we where we left off. And do you recognize that barking? Uh, where where is where is that? Is that from in here? Benny? <laughs> Benny, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, hi buddy, you should get your paws out of that chemical goop. Oh, do not lick the floor, oh no. Did you see that? He just licked the floor. Uh, okay, hopefully that's not gonna cause any kind of problems. Benny, Benny, hang, stay put. <laughs> Stop walking away from me when I'm trying to talk to you. Oh my gosh, little Benz. Hey buddy, I guess he's followed us here and oh yeah, I was about to say. Oh, that spooky music. That, that I left Faith talking to teaching Ryan how to talk and I guess she managed to complete that so that's fun and uh, this is less fun. Benny you be careful if you're gonna follow us through this because oh gosh I am not looking forward to trying to cross this again. We didn't oh we didn't bring any more showers in a bottle we should have done that. Oh, oh dear this isn't great okay well I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure everything will be perfectly fine. Just please do not light yourself on fire again. Because honestly, I thought you were going to die last episode <laughs> with you lighting on fire constantly. So yeah, please, please be safe. Disarm it with, with safety. Even though technology is ancient, the ancient civilization that created this trap was highly advanced. What? Are they using technology from like... The, the, what? Is so this science lab is using ancient technology it's it's crazy there's obviously a secret door here but but it's blocked off and griffin can't just step over the tape so maybe what what happens if we do actually just stand on this because it's supposed to be one that you put a statue on but what happens if i just stand on it anyway uh wait did it just open the door is that all that did because i already Already opened the door with force. Uh oh. Uh, maybe we're not supposed to go through this this way. If that if that just opens the door itself, then how are we meant to get into this whole big complex here? Huh. Um, that's made me stuck. I'm confused. Benny, do you know anywhere where we're supposed to go? You're not Benny. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Hi, Benny. Where are we meant to go? Buddy, can you can you help me out? I don't know where we're supposed to go or what we're supposed to do, and I really want to find somewhere. If I give you a treat, will you, will you help me? He does not look happy. I don't think he likes this place. I don't know why he followed us here if he doesn't like it. Maybe he's just got bad vibes. 
Or maybe he's just really wishing he could get inside this and eat all those bones. <laughs> they're mean on them. It won't be that tasty. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a dog. Maybe, maybe it is tasty. Huh. I really have no clue where we're supposed to go now to be able to get inside of this thing. I'm trying to look for secrets. Are there any secrets? Any tiny little holes in the ground or something? I, but I, I just don't see anything. Uh, huh. I, I don't want to get lit on fire again. <laughs> Honestly, not my, not my favorite thing. Maybe we try and disarm the other one. See if that will help. I don't know. This, this has got me stumped. I am stumped, Benny. Benny, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Penny is just standing there. I don't know why he's acting like he's got no autonomy, because he does. Everybody's got autonomy on, but he's just here like, I, I don't want to move from this one spot <laughs> in case I get, I get sick. Maybe he's scared to move because he's got his paws. <gasps> Maybe he's stuck. <laughs> Maybe he's stuck in the goop. I don't know. But um, apparently that one's also unable to be disarmed. Huh. Uh, can we inspect these walls here? No? I, um, I'm stumped. <laughs> I don't know what, we got, what we've got to do. And then, and that makes me sad. I've never been stumped by a puzzle before. At least not in World Adventures series. I don't think I've been stuck on a puzzle for this long. But now I am well and truly really out of ideas. Is there another floor that I can go to? Is there, is there something I am missing? There is obviously something I'm missing, but I don't know what it is. Is there a ladder? Can we like climb up onto these bins and climb up through that broken broken gate there? Maybe? No? <laughs> ah! I don't know what to do! Griffin seems to be taking a rest by the fire here. I'm surprised it's still functioning, although actually it just looks like it's a normal log fire, so I guess I guess that's why it's functioning. But he, he just seems to be distracted by this fireplace, whereas Benny- oh, well, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know where Benny's gone, but I think I found him. He's in here destroying this bench. You know, it's bench? This, this desk, which I guess isn't that big of a problem since this whole place is destroyed anyway, but... <gasps> did I miss that? Wait, did, was it... was... we were... we were in here. We were in this exact area. Did I not interact with this? Oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> okay. Benny, if you wouldn't mind scooting out of the way, that'd be great. <laughs> you're gonna... you're gonna interact with this. Oh my gosh I can't believe it I can't believe this was right here this has got to be what I was missing right there's there's no way this is just like uh, uh, this thing doesn't work it doesn't activate anything sort of thing right <laughs> please please tell me this does something good and helps me progress yes anywhere anything hello uh, there are spooky noises and we find a hidden switch okay Ooh, 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 there's a hole in the floor. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That, that sounds like the right thing to do. Oh, oh, jeez, that is a black abyss. Um, <laughs> uh, can I go down there? Oh my gosh, that's dark. I hope it lights up when we go down. Because, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, oh no, I don't like this. No, no, I don't like this at all. Oh my gosh, it's so... There's so much stuff. Look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. That's a freezer bunny. There's two freezer bunnies and it, that's, a, that's straight up an alien. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? I'm genuinely terrified right now. What the heck? Oh my gosh, this is not fun. I don't like this. Um, there are some arrows quite clearly telling me to investigate the wall here, so I'm gonna do that. And also, while I was looking at this, there are the exact same arrows here. I don't know if that's a reflection, or if that's just part of the model. But, it, the, that's gotta be a reflection, right? <laughs> it's just, I couldn't see the boxes on top, so I was like, what? Is that, is that, is that, is that alien trying to tell me something? <laughs> but no, it's just a reflection. I'm overthinking everything. Okay, well, you know what? There are aliens about, so I'm already wary and, and uneasy and 
This is very into the future looking. What the? There's into the future stuff here. Well, this is weird, but that's, that's where I'm going to have to leave things for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.